She had begun to close her eyes when suddenly a white rabbit passed by. Now Alice had seen many white rabbits before, but this one was different. He wore a bright plaid suit with a green vest and black shoes, and as he hurried by, he took out a pocket watch, looked at it, and said, Oh, I'm late, I'm late. The queen will have my head for this. Alice had never seen a rabbit so well dressed before. He had such a nice speaking voice, and why, I never knew that rabbits could tell time. I wonder why he was in such a rush. Alice was such a curious little girl that she decided to find out. She ran after him and was just in time to see him pop down a rabbit hole. I'll get to the bottom of this, she said. Alice popped in after him, took a few steps, and walked right off the edge. She began to fall straight down the rabbit hole. She fell for some time. I must be falling right through to China. Well, if China is on the other side of the world, I wonder if the people there walk upside down all the time. I don't think I could do that. But I'm sure I'd always have a headache. Alice saw that she was falling very slowly. There were all sorts of jars and bottles on the shelves of the hole. And for a time, she had fun taking them off one shelf and putting them back on another. But then, oh. she came down on a pile of dry leaves. The fall was over.